हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूर प्रोग्रामिंग क्लब टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अनदर डेली लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स नेम इज फर्स्ट मिसिंग पॉजिटिव नंबर एंड गिवन यू विल बी गिवन एन अनसॉर्टेड अरे नंबर्स एंड इंटीजर अरे एंड यू हैव टू रिटर्न द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव इंटीजर that is not present in this nums array okay and there is a constraint that you must implement this algorithm in order of n and it should use constant extra space or auxiliary space okay so there are some constraints uh, that length of this array will be of order 10 raised to power 5 and each element will be ranging from minus 2 raised to power 31 to 2 raised to power 31 minus okay so let's see how we can solve this particular problem let's take one of these examples i think this should be fine so uh, a general observation here is that uh, the first missing number positive number that will be in our array that will be missing in our array will be from range let's say this is the nums array that is given to you and it is of length uh right now we can see that it is of length uh 4 so num sir is of length 4 okay and let's call this len this variable len is equal to 4 okay so uh if we what is the you know minimum uh, number that is being missing here so 1 2 3 4 among all these numbers and let's take one extra number which is 5 so among all these numbers which one is missing one is there okay then two is not there three is there four is there okay and uh, yeah so two was not there okay and this is general observation if array is of length uh, len then the first missing positive number will be in the range from 1 to len plus 1 okay while n plus 1 because it may also uh, happen like this uh, input can be also like this 1 2 3 4 and uh, okay so what will be the missing number here in this particular case so it will be nothing but 5 okay so that is the reason you know we are taking one extra than our length of the array okay so this is the first observation and uh, right now what we have to do is since we are only worried about the elements in the range 1 to length plus 1 both inclusive okay you can remove this two and insert a colon here so we are only worried about elements in this range okay check for elements in this range and we are not concerned with any negative number so any uh, no number beyond this range so what we will be doing is we will be checking if the numbers are in you know this particular range and uh, for that we will be trying to place the numbers in their appropriate location what i mean by appropriate location let's say 3 uh, is the number that we are visiting we are uh, traversing this array from left to right direction okay and 3 is the number that we are visiting we will see what is uh, you know 
at what place three could have been inserted in this array okay three could have been inserted at a index three minus one why minus one because this indexing is you know zero based zero based indexing okay that's why let's say if we are at four okay then if you have taken only four as your index then there is no index as four because the length itself is is equal to four so you have to always subtract one because of zero based indexing okay so that's why we are subtracting one from the number this is the number that you are visiting number being visited okay so this will be the appropriate index at which three should be inserted okay so we will try to insert three at that index which is by the way two here okay and uh, what we will do to do uh, insertion of three there we will swap th those two numbers the number at index two this one and three we will swap these two let me change color here swap these two when you swap these two after swapping uh, you will notice that array will look something like this three or uh, i think it would be fine if i write some debugging statements and it was it would save some work i guess or anyways it's a short example so this should not take that much of time minus one and then four and three and then there comes uh, one okay so you will see that uh, the number at current index is a negative number which is n not in the range that we were looking for so you will stop there uh, then and there only and you will not do any further swappings okay if it would have been a positive number then you would have also tried this number to insert uh, try to insert this number in a correct space okay so let's say it would have been some number two then you would have tried to insert two in its correct space which is uh, two minus one so it should have been inserted at first index and whatever number will come after swapping with first index you will check whether that number is in this range and if it is in this range then you will try to insert uh, at its correct position so you will keep repeating this as long as your number that is uh, coming out out after swap operation uh, is a positive number and particularly it is in this range so once you received a negative number or a number which is which is out of this range so you will stop then and there only and uh, after that all the numbers will be in their respective places okay so how the array will look like this is after first swap operation then you will be coming to 4 4 should have been inserted at 4 minus 1 which is equal to the third index so 0 1 2 and 3 it should have been inserted here so we will swap these two values one will come here three will uh, be at its position and then four will be coming here okay so right now you are at this particular index okay zero one two three four is already at its correct index now you have one as your current number and you may see that it is lying in this range one plus uh, one two length plus one length is four by the way so four plus one okay and uh, you know while we are checking for indices you should not be considering this plus one instead uh, you will check till length only i will tell you what is the use of this plus one uh, i mean uh, this plus one is only when all the numbers are there from one to length then there will be no number which is not at its correct position then you will simply return length plus one in that case so that's why we were looking for this range anyways uh, the length should uh, the correct range should be one to length both inclusive okay 
so coming back we will be checking for one where it should be inserted one minus one will be zero so it should be inserted at the zeroth index so we'll swap these two values as soon as we do the swapping what will uh, be are looking like it will be one minus one three and four and as soon as we see a number which is not in our range which is one to four so we will stop then and there only and we will continue this operation for these two we will not do any swapping since they are already in their correct positions okay so your final array let me take another slide will be looking something like this one minus one three and four okay then you will do a traversal of this array for one last time and you will check at every uh, for every number it should be at a uh, you know let's say this is one it should be at its index plus one okay one should be equal to its index plus one okay index at which one is this is the number okay if this is the case then we are fine and if it's not the case then what you will return you will just return index plus one okay so if you uh, come here you will see that the number is minus one and it is not equal to index plus one index plus one is by the way one plus one which is equal to two so there should have been two here but uh, two is not here so two is the missing number that was smallest so smallest positive missing number in this particular array okay and uh, let's say it would have been the case that all the positive numbers were there so in that case you would have just returned length plus one okay so this is the whole logic let's try to you know let's see the implementation how uh, we have implemented this so this is implementation so you will be running a loop or uh, doing a linear traversal and you will be checking for all the elements which are in this range one to our length okay length is the size of the num array and uh, you will be checking whether the elements are at their correct position or not okay so i told you how to check for correct position which is nothing but the number itself minus one and why minus one because of zero based indexing okay and this whole thing we are doing because we are only concerned with the numbers which are in zero uh, one two length of the array okay because the first missing number uh, positive missing number will also always be in this particular range and if we are uh, checking for indices that uh, this will be the range but if we talk about in general uh, what will be the range so it will be length plus one length plus one in case when all the numbers are being present okay so that is why we are doing uh, this check and if it's not the and if this whole condition evaluates to true then we will do the swapping and we will keep continue, uh, continuing this thing as long as we uh, get a number after swapping in the current numbers place uh, which is in this particular range okay and uh, yeah that's pretty much it when you will be doing the last traversal you will come to know whether there is a number that is missing in the range one to length and if it, if there is no number missing in the range one to length like this particular instance then you will simply return uh let me change color here length plus one okay plus one so this is what we are doing here indeed and you may also have a little doubt like uh, it was asked in the problem statement that you should be you know implementing a solution that is running in constant uh extra space and linear time complexity but how come this uh, be a linear time complexity operation for that i will tell you that each number is being inserted at its correct position only once okay and this loop will basically run order of n times only okay you may see that when uh three and four were visited again they were not 
uh, no uh, this loop didn't uh, didn't run because uh, they were indeed at their correct positions only okay so that's why overall time complexity will still be order of n because even if you know uh, you multiply some constant with this n let's say i multiply 3 here with n it will still be equivalent to order of n okay as long as this 3 does not become equal to n or close to it so it will still be order of n so that's why overall time complexity is order of n and space complexity as you may have guessed since we are not using any extra space it is constant okay so if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day ahead